When David Beckham hobbled off the Old Trafford pitch towards the end of United's 2-0 FA Cup defeat against Arsenal, it seemed the only injury he'd suffer was a sore hamstring. But what followed in the Manchester United dressing room caused a national sensation. Sir Alex Ferguson didn't try to deny it. He did kick a football boot that hit David Beckham in the head. What would have happened if the boot had been on the other foot? David Beckham would have aimed it squarely at Sir Alex Ferguson. <laughs> <laughs> Today he called it a freak act of nature. And it's over. I mean, it's... Well, a freak could never happen again. There's been no comment from the injured party, but Beckham bears the scar of his latest confrontation with his manager. Even the Prime Minister threatened troublesome journalists with the boot. A stack of football boots just underneath the table here, so... <laughs> The man who broke the story was journalist Neil Custis. Once I'd heard about what had happened in that dressing room, you know this is massive. I mean, this is huge. This is the biggest manager in the country in Europe and the most famous player in the world. And one of them's kicked a boot at the other. The manager's probably come in, lost his temper, and lashed out at the first thing that's got in his way, which happens to be a football boot. Apparently there was just blood everywhere. Beckham couldn't believe it. He's going, I can't believe it, I can't believe it. And Ferguson's going, it's only a graze, fucking up your right. Ferguson's going, of all the people. Hats off to Ferguson. What he did requires a great degree of technical mastery, because like bored men everywhere, we tried it that weekend, and no one got hit in the eye. I think one cat got hit in the ear, but there was no blood. It's a very difficult thing to do. No way in the world could it have been deliberate. No way. Knowing Alex, he'd have missed him by a country mile if he'd have aimed it. If I tried it a hundred times or a million times, it could not happen again. If I did, I'd have carried on playing. Later, we found out that there had actually been a confrontation between the two in which they had to be pulled apart. It's gone off, and he knows it's gone off, and the repercussions are going to be huge. Bex went home and probably didn't want to make anything more of it, but Mrs Bex was furious. It was, like, it was just an image of him, of Posh, dragging Bex by the ear down in Old Trafford. What did you do with my boy? Look at him. Look, how did he get like that? Explain it. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that would have gone down well if, uh, if Victoria had gone around knocking on his door saying, stop having a go at my David. But Fergie refused to apologise. It was a graze and he's dealt with with the doctor. There was no problem. And we move on. And that's all there is to be said for it. Beck struck back with a photo opportunity of his own. On the Monday, David Beckham drives out of his new residence in Alderley Edge and stops, and the photographers take pictures of him. The sunshade he normally has down is up. Clear shots of him. He decides to wear a hairband, scraping his hair back off his forehead to clearly show this cut on his head. I would guess there was a little bit of, uh, hey, I'll let the world see what you've done to me, boss. The, oh, the hairband will have wound Ferguson up even more than the, the couple of little stitches, I think. He might as well have had a big arrow painted on his face, pointing at it, going, look what that brute did to me. If I never wrote another story again, I'd remember being the man who wrote Fergie, Dex, Bex. Dressing room bust-ups are nothing new in football. The manager has to ensure the players know who's in charge.